did not jackpot. I relocated. There's a difference. Mm-hmm. People jackpotting now is, you know, like when you have Nigerians going en masse, <laughs> like people are just uprooting and just going. <laughs> um, I left when traveling was not that, you know, it was just a few and far between. Mm-hmm. Now, yes, is it hard trying to reestablish yourself in a foreign country? It is. Everybody has their own relocation story. However, mm-hmm. one thing I can assure you guys is that if you can survive in Nigeria, you will survive anywhere in the world. I tell you this because Nigerians are very hardworking. They, they know how to thrive even in the hardest, um, um, sit, um, how would I put it, even in the hardest circumstances. So coming abroad, there are just certain steps a normal Nigerian need to take for them to align themselves with their new reality. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, a lot of them don't have this as a plan. When I was coming to the United States, I had a plan. Exactly. I had a very good job. I worked at a Heritage Bank. I was making $550,000. Uh, sorry, Naira. Sorry, I'm just used to dollars now. <laughs> I was making 550000 Naira back in 2016 as a senior banking officer right? Mm. I left all that, left, you know, a life where I, w- I had a brand new car, I had a cook, someone, and you know, labor is cheap in Nigeria, you know, just having your apartment in Lekki phase one, you know, not all those people that go to Shongo after, after, and they say they live in Lekki, no, I was right there in Lekki phase one and everything, but I looked at the state of the country and I said, this country is not going anywhere. Mm. It's just like a treadmill situation where you see a lot of movement, but no progress. So I left. So here's the thing. What we should be, the message I think we should be um, spreading is not just to tell them it's hard, but maybe trying to guide them on how they should um, prepare themselves when they are coming. Mm -hmm. And it's just a few simple. The first thing is for them to get realistic. We just so happen to be from a country where we have the do you know who I am syndrome. Do you know who I am? Mm-hmm. When I was leaving Nigeria, a friend of mine who was a big boy, you know, in fact, I don't put my mind and say, ah, if I don't take this bros, say, bros, I did cuss out. Find me though. The guy would all shell out money because among other things, he's generous. She, she, afu, ching bang, you know, give him. <laughs> He said he wasn't going to give me money, but he would give me an advice. And when he mm-hmm. said that, I became upset. I felt, you know, that Nigerian Enti- mentality Alex. where we are entitled to Enti- people's money. Mm-hmm. I was like, which person will take your advice? Do not money me, they find come. Freeze, like, I can't see you, by the way. I see a blank screen. I've not seen you since I do it. Good. <laughs> Good. I'm enjoying you. Okay. So um, he said, I'm going to tell you something. He said, you've been a Nollywood actor, and then you went into corporate Nigeria, you're doing well. The first thing, the one and only thing I'm going to advise you to do is divorce who you are coming from Nigeria. The mindset. Your mindset. That you go to walk out for the street, they go say, ah, see the actress. Oh, oh, now make your divorce all that. When you come here, you're a Jane Doe exactly. until you get right to the system. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody care about no. you, baby. Nobody. Ain't nobody care. Nobody. Ain't nobody care. That's the first thing. Mm-hmm. So that way you're going to walk out for the street. They do like this. You know, I know they look you, but you they look they made a recognize you. She ain't gonna mm-hmm. walk. Mm-hmm. So that's the first thing. Another thing is have a plan. Mm-hmm. Some people come abroad on just mere promises. Mm-hmm. When I was coming to the United States, the friend I had originally planned to visit or to stay with, she lives in Kansas. But I have this friend here in Atlanta who said, how can you be going all the way to Kansas when I'm in Atlanta? I feel some type of way about it. I said, relax. Okay, make I become your place. She was like, if you come stay with me, you can stay here for one year and then get yourself together and everything. Stay here for one year. Body can't sweets me. Reason being is, 
this particular friend, I had visited her like over the years when I was still visiting from Nigeria, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So she knows, say, level this small, like when I did come, you know, with the shelling of the dollar, you know, say, as you they shell dollars when you come visit, not be when you relocate, not two we different things. Mm -hmm. We they, when we come on vacation, we they spend money with disrespect. Mm -hmm. It's different from when you come stay here. <laughs> <laughs> It's different from where you can't come here, can't they work the money? So the thing is, I had promises by a friend to come to her house, stay with her, spend about a year to get my foot in, and then go from there. Hmm. Bros, it's you see not... that one year? Okay? <laughs> in three weeks, I was out of her house. In three True. weeks. Mm -hmm. in three Frustration. Weeks. So the first thing you're going to learn is when you come abroad, right? I don't care if now your senior sister or your senior brother will not come from the same womb, will not be twins. There is something about abroad that changes people. So mm -hmm. even if you don't house person for like two years for Nigeria, will not be best friend. That person confess you relocate. You can relocate some maybe three years later. You can't expect saying as soon as be when you, they house them for Nigeria. Now so soon go be when you did the abroad it's not mm. like that like that <laughs> rick now i'll tell you why abroad visiting someone is a heck of a responsibility yeah. mm. for that you go to buy your card to the power your electricity lights. or you go to go control anyhow now go control na go control money together and go buy fuel then go run mm -hmm. abroad no generator now paper no. use mm. so mm. when and and I'm trying to the reason I'm taking my time to explain is because a lot of people come here and say, Oh, you know who I be for Niger, but mm -hmm. as I can't come here, they treat me like shit. Not be so paper, but did they do mm -hmm. make I tell you why? When you come in house, let's say in normal light bill, now like one forty dollars per month. Mm -hmm. With you coming, if you reach two hundred mm -hmm. because you don't go day house, you so go tell you say not on light, not the off lights. If you enter the guest room, wherever they say make you stay, you go on lights. As you on that light, so in build don't spike up a bit. Spike up. Mm -hmm. so if, if you know con, you know, make yourself such that you be asset for the house in some way, no matter the capacity, even mm -hmm. if now small thing you did bring, say, ah, take, take, Beauty. join you. Our yeah. people, they know they, get for the most part, they know they mm -hmm. get that uh, mm hair. -hmm. So you go come, you go back for money, you go back for evening. That, that, that faucet where you just open like this. You don't. Nabil. As that was that Nabil. Mm -hmm. So when you can't come, man, you know, the first one more, they go do you visit. Or by the second one, they go change them for you. <laughs> because for the, no, for the simple reason that they got their, their bill in the mail and then it's mm -hmm. gone up. True. That's the thing. So when it goes up, now this person is upset because for, maybe you did not even contribute. But Things have like, changed. In the house. And our people, we have this way to not cook. Wait to not, you go, they do way to not cook. Like, say, you don't know, say, I'm on there. They say they cook. But in my own case, I was contributing because I had my plan. When I come here, now keep in mind, I had been an actor in Nigeria, matter of fact, an award winning one. Then I joined corporate Nigeria and I was doing very well, right? Mm -hmm. Driving my brand new car in, in 2016 to drive brand new car, not be busy. So, not just so many people they jump on top to Kumbo. Mm -hmm. I can't come here. As I come here, or more just so that my friend hats could smile eh i start to do different things attachments when i buy come from a nigeria see at the concert for you i carry out i stretch the thing i take and the platter children hair mm. i go carry the children go walmart in the evening just to go buy them things me then they happy they shout auntie auntie it's still not rich in in about i think i got a job like five days after i came my friend vessel is that what is it what is the rush? Uh -uh. <laughs> At least let the jet lag come off. I said, no, I'm not going to sleep. I'm not going to come bridge. I enter internet. I begin to find work. My first work, nanny, me. I do nanny for this country. So sometimes I have no words for people who come here with that mindset of, do you know who I am? If you, they come abroad, do you know who I am? No, go help you. It no matter whether you be big brother winner, whether, whether you be star actor, nobody, nobody gives a... Yes, I, yes, I, 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 I,
But the journey, if you know when you watch Hollywood movie, the person is 20 years mm. ago. Now let me do this yet they go for now. So they God is good. I work in technology. I make good money by the grace of God. Mm. But when I came here, I do not new work. My brother, I do not new work. I do CNA, CNA now, those nursing assistants. Mm -hmm. I go old people's home. You go see all those old, old people, all those Oibo people. You go follow them, sit down there. You go wipe their nash. This me, this hands. I don't wipe Oibo nash. Hey. I do. True. So I'm true. Unless you want to see someone who's going to do like this for you, make I tell you, unless mm. say they be your visitors, visa, say they won't visit for a short while. Anything where they tell you say that they do for abroad, now lie. Yeah. My people not let them lie. Mm -hmm. And because our people you know they honest with, with each other. Our people back home, mm -hmm. they go come, come here with the mindset, say, ah, that they are they that they make up. they're not gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. Say see what they do me. As I they learned, I do nanny. Mm -hmm. I do see any. See any be say. You go to carry or you go, or you go say yeah. boy be six times your All size. When you rely on your small body to help them stand, help you go bath them, you go clean their hands, you go change their diaper. Yeah. Again, where I do that work, which knock on the smell for my nose again. Mm -hmm. because, you get used to it. You are doing yeah. Mm -hmm. I do am. I'm saying this to inspire people. If you don't have humility in your heart, you not be U.S. citizen. Your papa, and mama, not born you for here. Say so you they relocate. Um, oh, there is that shock period. You go pay your dues. You don't let anybody deceive you. The, I do Amazon delivery. Mm, I do Uber. True. All this car, I do Uber. That, that, <laughs> that, that that is, the, you have to remove the mindset. That's the first uh, thing. Without, them, without removing the born. mindset, you can't work here. You get put with a bone for this. Um, for this, uh, Georgia, they they go go abroad, like when people go abroad, they, they, they know they tell people read true to they know they tell people, people, they people, know they tell people, people true to people go they feel to say mm. easy, you know, easy. The person where God used change my story, she did this life because mm -hmm. I just received a message from her shortly before I joined. Her name is you, Eunice. So, mm. Eunice, if you are still watching, I'm giving you your flowers. I stay, here we go. I, I go walk, walk, walk. I go, ah, ah. In 2020, I just woke up one. I went crazy. I said, oh, this can't be my story. I can't do this. And of which all that plenty hours you put in is just enough for you to pay your bills, buy food. You have just little left. Exactly. Exactly. You see, a lot of people, they talk about, I won't go America. America is not a country. Mm. The system. I'm seeing it now. It's the a system. System. A system that is programmed for you to feed into it, and you must keep making money to sustain to live. Yeah, you you have to. So for you to make money to get to a point where you can say, okay, I can support people back home, or I can live comfortably and have something tangible as far as savings go, you have to either be working in healthcare. And when okay. I say healthcare, I'm not talking CNU. I'm talking like from registered nurses, like RN, RN BS, yeah, like from nurses. You have to be in Thanks. healthcare. You have to be in technology. You have to be. You have to be in. in a, my brother, help me out. You have to be in tech. tech. You, you be. That, yeah, that's, those that's are technology. Two yeah, major um, things, yeah. mostly. Yeah, there, there are a few other industries too. Um, there's Coming up, finance, yeah. finance industry. Too. So I have a friend who recently just got a job. Like she was an accountant in Nigeria, but she just got a six-figure job recently. But it's few and far between, right? Few. So and mm. the truth of the matter, we say not everybody gets the brain for healthcare. I have a lot of people. They say, oh, Cynthia, I want to do this. I want to do this. At first, I was encouraging people. But when I saw people are just doing it for the money. Money. You know? Mm -hmm. Because as far as technology goes, you have to keep reading, upskilling. For you to stay competitive. Yeah. You have to keep upskilling. Up so it's not something that just... Yeah, so you Guilty. see, eh, this my... abroad thing, he get yeah, people. Wait. Shout out, Izzy Clark fifty six just popped two money guns. If you're watching on TikTok, <laughs> double click, follow my YouTube <laughs> right now. Leave everything you're doing and follow Lizzie Clark. If you're watching on YouTube, super chat, super like, super stickers. I'll take your comments when you have those. And if you're watching on Facebook, one thousand mm -hmm. stars on abroad. I go answer you. So, Omo, 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 man, this thing they scam you. 
that you freeze it's, it's, when there is a will there's a way it's not yes. scary it's just that it, our people are not honest with we're not honest people. and we're not disciplined yeah there's a lot of you have to be honest. here some people go 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 hustle come come my life come clean up come act like say no. yeah yeah yo so, so so freeze let me shock you you know i recently lost my instagram and by the way please i beg go make you not follow me for my instagram because i lost like i had a huge following and i lost people so i'm trying to connect back with my people right so on my if you go back on my instagram like when i just come i they say they do things for instagram now they look nice because here you go to the stores you buy you buy like there is they get great for everything like you can you can you can look really nice and decent just by going to your regular you know stores and buying outfits then, right then. you will feel look nice and then don't forget say dust not there you see that red dust where they stain people you know they here <laughs> so you go they look fresh but now when you go work now you go you go, you go, you go they honest with yourself, say, yeah but when you come back from work bath ah uh, you can't wear clothes you're good but what i disagree with is people coming out here and they make it look like they don't have a transition story exactly they make it look like it was all nice and rosy how unless you be u.s citizen stop bouncing that ball baby i'm on mm -hmm. i'm on live don't do that mm -hmm. go to your room so our uh, people come here, oh, I came here, I do this in a line. Some people say, oh, I came here and my husband did investment visa. Where your husband, Simon? For you to get an investment visa, you are putting like $1 million into the into system. Into the system, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what your True. husband do? Where yeah, you see that kind of money? <laughs> so people come here, they lie. You see, I, I know a lot of people who are very, who i knew to be very successful in nigeria mm -hmm. they come here and they're just they, they're, they're struggling just fall in line yeah mm -hmm. they're struggling so as long as you have a focus you have a plan having a plan is very important because if you don't have a plan you can get carried away easily coming from nigeria probably never traveled before you mm -hmm. come to a place like this you see how oh if you work hard you make money you can afford like the basic things you may get carried <laughs> away and start buying <clears throat> Asho, 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 mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you forget yourself. Mm -hmm. I came, I had a plan. So this at every me. point, I was checking the milestones. Mm -hmm. By 2020, I said, okay. So since, I, and by the way, I have two degrees. I have a master's degree, right? Mm -hmm. But it wasn't getting me the desired jobs here. Mm -hmm. That industry is not making so much. You to just land you on that kind 40, 50K per annum. Not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. So banking you know, yeah. work for America. You say? Banking you no know, be better work for America. Please, it gets it Level. gets a lot of your executive directors, a lot of senior bank managers. We come here. They don't even see the bank work. Mm -hmm. They don't even see the bank because for you to work in the banking sector, you go clear background. You could take the background, background check. check. Mm -hmm. background, the they pay with background check mm. for here mm. high paying jobs you must go through background check uh, uh, any job as you see this so for this america when i did before my head not the day house but you see for this america now if you slap me now i'll tell you thank you so i let it go, where no I go. because if i cost if i can't slap you back it depends on how we talk the story give police they're going to say now assault you assault. catch a charge mm -hmm. once you catch a charge and it's in your system. It's in the system. You, you probably want to switch jobs. You want to switch jobs. You won't get the next job because there's a charge check in it. your yeah. And 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 I might, might I remind you the the background check we're talking about is like it's just like looking at our, our Nigerian um, NIN card NIN number. Okay. Now you know in the banking system there's a level to which the banks can see your information. And there's a level to which the government can see. The government can see everything. Yeah. The banks can see maybe four, five, six, seven levels, but the government can see the 13 levels. Now that's how it is over here. Now, if you're going for a job and then you apply for a job, they, they, they have your SSN, which is also your Nigerian NIN number. They just put it into the system. They pay for that. They check it. Once they check, they will see all your crimes. And you break traffic law, you do this. Once they see any red flag, we affect their own. It's, they will not even tell you no. You just go silent. That's it. You're not here back from them. So we know say make 
people not come abroad though. Uh, it's open they're not they they're not they should gone for border mm -hmm. now everybody's welcome to come but when you're coming come with realistic expectation you get plenty of people we don't hang for system here a lot what do you mean by i hang them uh, Cynthia? okay by hanging i mean you have this friend you know your friend leaves in the u.s for instance let me speak for u.s because this is where i live right mm -hmm. and then you're trying to connect Next to that friend, you just come from Nigeria. Or maybe you, you like, not necessarily come from Nigeria. You're you, you live out of state, yeah, a different state, and then you're maybe trying to move to another that state. state you have that friend, mm -hmm. and then you're trying to strike a connection because you guys are good, but for some mm -hmm. reason it's not happening because that friend they dodge you, like because because you know what make you see a CB hanging gets different levels of hanging. And not be who first come, they collect, uh, you know, that thing will be mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. first come. Some kind of times, now nah, grace. Mm -hmm. Because you get some people, we don't come here, we don't come like longer than you. They know if they never get. People. Yeah. People did so people, 30 years, they never get. Yeah. And guess there what? People like that. And guess and what? People will come two years, they don't get. You know? That so, and guess what? You get people will go come 30 years, they don't get. But they, they live better than person. We get that thing. You understand? It goes different ways. You understand? But the thing is, if you won't come here, no just say, ah, people they jack one won't jack No be so. No. First, we, we see videos of people crying, mm. saying they don't know send us so it go be. First, that one are hanging you now. And, and, and no be by say, I sabi also, I sabi also. No. <laughs> it is smartness. Not be physical power. Then, <laughs> smartness. You have to be smart. So the thing is, first thing, erase that mindset of entitlement, uh, I, I will fight if you fight me back, all those Nigerian mindsets, erase it. Exactly, yeah. Think of this. I had, to, I had to unlearn a lot mm -hmm. of things, yeah. and I started relearning a lot of things, which is why my, my um, affiliations with the Nigerian community here is very really big. I have... Yeah. I that most people who are successful abroad cut away the Nigerian community and the yes. toxicity. Yes, of mm -hmm. you have to be. Yeah. You have to be extremely special to me for you as a Nigerian to have an event and I attend it. Me, I'm I not be Iberia girl. Please, before we talk now, you know how people there's a big. What they don't understand, you give a name. There's a lot of and people here. They are spending. I don't go Nigerian party before. Almost, I, I that time. I not for back, 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 back of the parking lot. I go back because what's see man? She for parking lots. That's not a Nigerian party. One man they do party for the wife. <laughs> see man, she for the parking lot. I say, oh boy, let me there the sofa. See moto, see machine. I go enter inside the hall. As I enter inside the hall, I begin find the people who park the machine for outside. I don't see. Hmm. What am I trying mm -hmm. to say? The kind of people you you saw well the kind of people i saw in a hall mm -hmm. did not fit, fit into them the profile machine. it did not fit the pro profile of who so you, owned that you can my tell. brother you live abroad so you know it's only one way to explain mm -hmm. that now imagine <laughs> you will not know anything you can't go they hang out with people like that you don't know who don't the fbi list <laughs> by association and that this is where you go the house go visit that place where you they enter they follow them they roll you know say you they go walk your nine to five mm -hmm. you don't know what they do but then they drive machine you they see that they heal they, they admire them but because you're affiliated you with them by so association they want both mm -hmm. and then go they try to see how they want to tie within that person they do best of you to see where the connection they Make them know how they want to take swooping, who they want to use, whether they first hold you, mm -hmm. go talk, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And you know, what I say for here, if they not hold you for here, if they not get something where they will say hold you for here, they know they come for you. They know come they for you. you. So, Nothing. You go know, say your life just smooth, grand soft. <laughs> they, 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 they watch you. You know, not saying that they watch you, they they pile things again. So I'm sorry, but yeah, see, things see, are going to go. The, 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 the thing is, associating with most nigerians over here can cause you problem that's and there are two reasons problem. The, it's, it's, it's risky. Mm, the first reason is i'm sorry to say, i'm a nigerian so don't judge me for this nigerians abroad they always want to size you up to see if how much you're making if they can mingle with you they can they can tap from you 
if they cannot tap from you, unhealthy they look down on you completely. Attachment is what I call yeah. it. Unhealthy attachment. Unhealthy attachment. You get it. But I'm trying to break it down so that people understand what what it is. Now that's the first one. They size you up to see is he use is he useful or useless. When I first came here, I didn't let anybody know what I was doing. You know, but those who knew, immediately you tell them one information. They can size you up. This guy is useful. Is into cybersecurity. Oh, it's money. They want to be around you. Guess what? They're not your friends. Uh, no, they're not. Because they, they want to use you. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, now, that's the first one. Now, the second one are the sets that want to make fast money, quick money. And we're talking about that line. Those she ones, be very, mm -hmm, <laughs> be very careful because that phrase, ordinary information such as your bank account is sensitive over here. You do not release it. So we're just anyone. Yeah. In Nigeria, you say, give me my give me money, send to my bank account. Over here, you do not do that. Oh, I lost, I lost my account. I lost my uh, my Bank of America account mm -hmm. just because someone in Nigeria was coming here. Tell me, say, in wife, they come here, come boy, make her beg, make they pay the money. Where they, that's how I lost my account. You could have got, I, tightened, mm -hmm. I tightened that you thing could, you could again. fight for it and get it back, but maybe you just didn't want to push for it, you know. Now my money, if it's, not my money. The person will get the money, no even Greek collecting. Uh, hey, that, that's it. If it's, if, it's, if, it's, if it's legitimate, fine. You can get it. You understand? So the bank account of a thing, there's, Nigerians need to calm down on learn all those, those, those mindsets. Yeah. Look at Nigerian system as if it's working. Discipline yourself before you come here. Yeah. So that you don't fall into trouble because you can easily get in and then you get out again. That's how easy it is over here. Now, the suffering of a thing where we talk about ladies suffering and these people suffering, that suffering. Sometimes, even when you you you, you plan well, it doesn't. It doesn't why, are you, why, are you, why are you propagating the message as ladies? Men don't suffer. No, no, I, no I'm just I'm looking, following his post. Women, no. I'm following his, his topic, his headline. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Man, I'm going now. Top this guy. But, but come to think of it. But come to think of it, you know, the ladies are more victims than the guys. Looking at it, uh, yeah. from, it depends. From, it depends. It depends on what lens you're looking at. Looking at it from. We're looking at it from Jackpa into the system. So you see, the thing is, a lot of our people feel say now when they when they're married person, they are different avenues. Mm -hmm. But our people are just familiar with one side. One avenue. Mm -hmm. So. So you need to so, do your research. So you need to do your thank you. You need to do your That's research and plan. Mm -hmm. You need to do your research and plan. But with the avenues now, it's limited because of interview time, interview dates, and all that. Which is why people want to leave on time and they go for the study routes. Mm -hmm. And when they go through the study routes, a lot of them are not having legitimate plans, which end up failing when they mm -hmm. come over here. So in my own, I had legitimate plan. I was even studying before I came here, online, virtually. You understand? So I, I knew what I wanted. I came in with it. It went, my plan derailed a little bit. I replanned my, that same plan to align. Since I'm so in the, the system, reason, I knew better. The reason, yeah. the reason why people say, okay, women suffer a lot is because to begin with, you see the Nigerians who are here are not the, your real brother's keeper mm -hmm. to the people who are coming. Mm -hmm. We are not honest with them. We mm -hmm. don't tell them about the realities that they may be exposed to. And then for the most part, you see some men who would say, okay, my wife, you and the children, go first. I'll come join you later. For her to take get her settings here, you know, say so get some kind of things where she feeds, she go gets to do so mm -hmm. that she go day here as per the way level. Make me mm -hmm. talk, you mm -hmm. know, say free, get plenty follow. Mm -hmm. And um, some of them, they know they do their due diligence. They'll come go do that kind of business with person way in head, not their house. Mm -hmm. Before you know, you go change them. Person, that person wife from Niger go get to this submitting safe. Mm -hmm. True. So one riffraff for yeah, because the riffraff feed don't tell and say, if you not do like this, do like this. I not go show. For where they talk, say, make me show. Mm. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You yes? from, mm -hmm. from go to sleep with the person, wife. You know, get choice. You know, get choice. 
call. She don't get choice. She won't making sure okay. when they see me they come. She you know how many people, no get people get wife when they have man for year. Then you call see their boozoo husband in Nigeria. My wife and kids are abroad. <laughs> oh <laughs> God. Oh, <sir>. <laughs> <laughs> My wife and kids are abroad. Because you know it's a status thing in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, my wife and kids are abroad. Bros, they knock your wife. So it's 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 a lot. Um, if you there are different there are different um ways you can shield yourself from that kind of thing. Fine person, fine person. We're not never we not be government picking. You know what we mean by government picking? Because for here, mm -hmm. yeah, I know. You know, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all those kind of things. So if you say for Nigeria, we we'll go talk. Say ah, person, wife, now no go area. Then those don't apply for here. Send for here. Mm -hmm. Huh. And then some of our people too, when women come here, they they use that mentality of, oh well, in Nigeria, I say fine girl, I will make um yeah. I get a lot of men to do things for me in Nigeria, your call come here. So what up, say say you be fine girl. <laughs> uh, you fine. <laughs> you see my way to do something for you. Funny, there's no free lunch in America. They're gonna slap you and fine plenty ain't gonna, for you. It's gonna happen. Fine plenty for you pass their safe. Yeah. So, so if you're coming here with the mindset say you find you be miss world you be miss wanting you can't stay you can't fall in love with one what big man we call you know the my sister you said if you see that kind of person let me know i get friends <laughs> see if find that kind of person too you know the so, uh, so come come with a plan i always encourage people to come so when people ask, when people tell me oh cynthia i'm coming say uh, hi before that side i'm usually very honest i do not discourage them from coming mm -hmm. because when i was coming to to hear mm -hmm. i was seriously discouraged by a close friend of mine i used to have back then in nigeria she's a famous blogger mm -hmm. she made a lot of money at the time and she would talk about women supporting women but we were very good friends and she never supported me huh? i thought i didn't go i thought they travel that is free one no you go no now you just don't count your teeth <laughs> how many <laughs> We were, as in that time, I said, I'm traveling. No, he said, What wait, are you going to do abroad? Wait, you know, yeah, that is free. Wait, you did talk. What's up? <laughs> okay, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> because at uh, that time, he said, He said, He's not at this, he's not at this age. They're not use old age, they go abroad. It's what you do when you are younger. Uh, at this point, I don't they sell my stuff. What do you mean? I have like I don't lay down my plan and I have the I have the discipline to follow my plan exactly. through, right? Mm -hmm. But this very good friend of mine, I it can't be like say she be like who go the hill. I'm only friends who go the day around the hill. Like, let me be the only one one eyed man in the in the village, village. of the blind. You know, I really wanted I, I didn't Nigeria wasn't doing it for me. And I looked, I said, No, this this country you not know, they go anywhere, not because my people wanna forgive me, but I said, I don't see her now six years after. And the best thing that happened to me was leaving that country. So I personally want to encourage everybody that have the uh, resources and the opportunity to leave Nigeria. But I beg if you leave Nigeria, number one, hold your money. Number two, no best friend. Person, wait, tell me, say, make a can't stay in house for one year. Find my food. You start mm. to vent. Mm -hmm. I go wake up in the morning like this. I go look my friend face. I go tell her, say, good morning. I could tell my friend good morning. Yeah. He go look me, look me, look me like this. Like say you useless. Oh, Imagine. So oh. And ah. so far. <laughs> They're not a ten person in children. In ten, he had a ten a ten year old at the time. That became that one in first of our children not get respect. So then they insult, you know, the American and him. Mm -hmm. So that this one we say one day her picking just insults me. Shara <laughs> for her present. I can't they say, hey, thank God, say this picking not do this thing for upset. She do and dance for front of her mama. Mama go question her. You know, you know what this girl tell her picking? Honey, oh, who is offending you to make you feel this way, to be reacting this way? Oh my God. <laughs> so if you're living with people, be ready for whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody's story is not that you must suffer. You get some people when I know where they be say when they come, Wait. they come house where be say the family availed them to a lot. In they talk, Cynthia, I yeah. say I stay for my house. Yeah, nobody picking if he insult me. <laughs> Please, people, you don't try them. People also you, you see. Let me tell you, I say this all the time, man. Eh? 
if you are a married couple with grown-up children abroad mm -hmm. might not be married couple with grown-up children mm -hmm. married couple with grown-up children say you get secondary school age children yeah mm -hmm. Time you begin, they blend into the abroad system. University don't come, and you not have saved up enough money mm -hmm. to train your children to, to university, and they will not have mm -hmm. access to loans system mm -hmm. for that from that system. So you've got to be careful. I'm not saying it is not doable. It's but, doable if you have a plan. Now, if you live in Nigeria and you are used to certain comforts, if you go abroad, you might feel like your life is not working out. That part. So don't do it if you are not sure you are ready for some people have hustle spirit. My mother mm -hmm. that if if you tell my mother um, say book and you read this book and from reading this book she will do it. My mother will read anything you give her, she will do. I'm not like that. Mm -hmm. There are very few times my hustle game. Times I say mm -hmm. I pack that sheets, thing. I clean yaps. Those few <laughs> things I can do, I can do them very well. Mm -hmm. If you take me out of my comfort zone, I'll be depressed. That's why and I that, can't work. Right. And and comfort zone is dangerous. You can't survive here. As they see me, so I know if you do, I know if you wash old people cloth. You go drama. Why do you think say I did Nigeria? They enjoy my Nigeria. You see, living in Nigeria for me, what I struggle with is the bill. No, what is the bills? The security. Mm -hmm. That's like that for you. The security system. Mm -hmm. You are driving. You don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, your kids are going to school every day. You are praying that they will come home safely. Mm -hmm. That the, the security system is yeah. my main issue, issue. in there. However, however, aside that, everything Everything else is okay for mm. me. Someone, it, someone said, um, someone said, um, I learned my lesson the hard way abroad. Though, if you ever come abroad, I beg if you see Nigerians, baga. <laughs> so, see, also see, got, Nigerians are not kind to their their folk, not, their king folk. Abroad. Don't group yourself with everybody. Mm. I, I learned this, I learned this when they were having the NSAS protest and everybody all the celebrities came out mm -hmm. and turned against them and then mm -hmm. they started celebrity shops mm -hmm. and, and so they now I came to the realization that look these people that you are fighting with are different from you mm -hmm. fighting right. with oppression they are fighting hunger and oppression, and oppression. That part. That part. So, so they are going to rob you. Mm -hmm. You actually need SARS between you and them. Mm -hmm. you, you don't get it. I, I get it. Out. You know, I study sociology in the university. Mm -hmm. SARS is bad to a Yahoo boy. Mm -hmm. Bad to somebody selling substance. Mm -hmm. It's bad mm -hmm. or a thief. But it's not necessarily bad to a Nollywood actress, for instance, who is my the likelihood that you have a SaaS problem, if nobody said mm -hmm. that substance or you do something mm -hmm. with the illegal, is rare. Mm -hmm. So you are taking on a fight for the people who are worse than that SaaS. Mm -hmm. Baba, I believe it took two years plus for ShopRite to reopen. People wow. lost their businesses. Let me tell you, end SaaS was part of what destroyed this economy. Some businesses never survived it. Wow. They were not in and that's fine. Right. My lesson. If I they hear protest, you see, when they hear people they are we're going to protest, we're going to protest. You want to protest it. Some people are waiting for you to start that protest so they can come and tip your television. They are ulterior motives. That's right. That. Uh -huh. no, that's mm -hmm. When ten people sit down and say we are really look at your own self well. Do I fit in? Right. Some of us live in this Nigeria. Mm. And that dollar will not the end. Mm -hmm. In the figures will not the end. Um, with the end for this Nigeria. Sure. In those, those, no, I'm not saying person the end two thousand mm -hmm. dollars, mm -hmm. But when you don't join them inside that six figures, some even they make seven figures. Self. 
for this yeah. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But you don't get business abroad, though. Mm -hmm. Unless you are just tired of the lack of focus of the country. Yeah, I was tired. Now, I lived in this place. When, when you Prince, Prince, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. I was fed up. I was fed up because I was a senior banking officer at this bank reporting to this madam who wakes up in the morning and the first thing she does is open her tab, her uh, computer and she's browsing all the blogs, trying to catch up with the gist, right? Now, after our day's work, she does the same thing. Now, in Nigeria, I don't know about other people's... Um, industry but in that particular bank it was a sign of rudeness for you to go home while your boss was still in the office so even if you are done with your day's work you can confidently carry your bag and after say you're you assigned home. hours yeah. yes Come because on. why are you going home when your madam is still in the office the then you go home and hang on hang on then you go home and you tell your your um uh, security guy on gen for me he called me to say oh madam my papa he done that this is the same papa if he's collected money from you five times to go and bury now he's coming to you the sixth time to collect money and you say i'm ah, waiting they do you and then uh, you don't collect money from my hand how many times say they go village go bury your papa how many papa you get invest he said no go on gen so, like how do one day i snapped I snapped. I just said, there has to be better than this. You wake up very early in the morning. I lived on Lecky Phase 1, right? Right at the end of Admiralty Road. So this is the main Lecky Phase 1. Now, you wake up 6 a.m. to go to work in VI just so that you pass that toll before all the traffic starts living in Lecky Phase 1. Now, you go to work and then you walk all day. You become you become you become scared that your madam is still at the office and you have to go no it's not done it's a sign of rudeness or insubordination of some sort Wait. when eventually you you go you set out to go home you're Wait. in traffic in your situation if you're working in the banking industry in nigeria you are, you should travel because the banking industry sucks mm -hmm. but there is no time for the last i started doing road show on cool fm uh about 50 15 years ago, my reservation at 4 o'clock and I close at 9 o'clock. There's always office politics, there's always annoying stuff, but yeah. you don't have to sit in tra traffic. And then, if you remember, Cynthia, we all used to live in the compound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was not really in the Nigerian system. I didn't have to live in Ikorodo and drive to VI mm -hmm. or wake up in the morning clock so i can get to the office by eight o'clock no crazy. no i used to when i was even when i was working in production i wake up at eight and be in the office by, by 8 30. wow because i lived in the compound yeah mm. so I crazy to live in the compound okay. so they had some staff in the compound okay. so you didn't even have to you didn't even have to deal with the logistics of have, going to and so, from work now when I when when I moved to one thousand and four, remember one thousand and four is behind behind it. It's, mm. It used to literally take me ten minutes to drive to work. Fine, there are some days there were traffic because of the road, but walked. If I walked from one thousand and four to the office, it would probably That's take me thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Mm. So that whole Nigerian ness, I was immune to it from the day i entered the labor market i was immune to nigeria unless one particular day i went to shop or somewhere so when people were complaining i i learned at a very young age not to join myself inside the boat that i am not inside that's right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when i moved my last two years in nigeria in Fuada is here i worked from home i never and that's lovely time for for one day i think i had one meeting after that all the meetings Things were on zoom all my programs were over the phone for two years and then i resigned so if i now go and join myself to somebody that is living in the corridor and working in vi we don't have the same nigeria experience you don't have the no. same experience we, that's right uh -huh. let me let me give you an example i bought my mercedes benz 2022 amg gle 53 brand new i have, have to break it in you're supposed to drive it to a thousand miles. A miles. Mile. I've been 
driving the car for two years, I've not done 1,000 miles. <laughs> <laughs> it had been broken in. So one day I now went to, I drove it to Bodylon and spent two hours on Bodylon going around and around just to get a hundred miles so that <laughs> cross from five, 500 miles so that I can rev the engine because if you don't break it in properly, you can't rev the engine if you don't rev it. That's right. Uh -huh. So I've had a car for two years. I've not done it because driving for me, not leisure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the spa. I'm going to do my manicure. I'm going to take. I'm taking my wife for a meal or the children to a hotel. Mm -hmm. So when people sit down, they talk of their Nigeria experience. Sometimes I feel oh, Nigeria is bad, night. but I then I caution myself. I said, "Come, you and this will not be the same Nigeria." The same level. Mm -hmm. Don't. Well, I, I I I had I had an issue with waking up very early in the morning, going to work in traffic, now getting to work during the whole day, and then being afraid to go home even after hours because some madame but has has not gone home then when you eventually get to go home you are in the same traffic trying to make your way back home then when you get back home then you find someone like um your security man refusing to you know put on the gen because you refuse to give him money his father is dying for the sixth <laughs> time and then you also have to deal with no. your probably silly you know it was just so much and no. then with on Nigeria. the weekend You're and gonna then with nigerian stupidity stupidity All stupidity from the police being stupid oh that to the... part too mm -hmm. let me give you an example when i was bringing in my uh 2020 camaro i bought it in 2020 i was shipping it in and sas now caught my car my sh the ship was about to discharge <laughs> and that happened so my car was at the port for two weeks extra Guess who paid? You know what pained me? What? So once you do demo rage, eh, mm -hmm. reach Friday. If your car doesn't come out, you will pay hey. Saturday. Saturday, but, Sunday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Monday. They do not they don't calculate it as working deal. And then mm -hmm. it, it gets higher. So you are paying 10, 10 k per day, then you are paying 20 k per day, then you are paying after a while the money you are owing the people is more than the car you the are car itself mm -hmm. so we've been waiting we've been chasing these people finally till friday purposely but monday to thursday the system was down hmm. system was down they could not process so i'm paying the government it's on you the work the government cannot, cannot do because do. the them is not working it's on you freeze. freeze hold that thought freeze hold that thought i'm just seeing a comment from one ils in duque saying unago come online and start saying all manners of things about care job as if it's easy to get other professional jobs no one is talking down on care jobs if you have any iota of brain in your head we if anything we are saying that nigerians need to be very humble when they come here i and i talked about my experience doing care job that's so it. who is talking down on care job? Do you even have any talking about? Do you even have the ability to comprehend what you hear? Listen. I did care job. Oh, since I go begin to fight them now, and they go begin to fight you. We know this is where I was. <laughs> so Monday to Thursday, I could not get in. Sorry, Monday to Wednesday, mm -hmm. I could not could not get the paperwork because there was um the system was down. Mm -hmm. Thursday. All of a sudden, agents go work. They say they don't go do one conference for Abuja. <laughs> Thursday, yep. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, <coughs> they never come from Abuja. Tuesday, they never come from Abuja. <laughs> yep. Thursday, the guy came from Abuja, but did not resume in the office. <laughs> Friday, they say the guy they come office <laughs> at 12 noon, walk to two, get up, say one go pray, system mm -hmm. shut down. Yeah, so, Nigerian so, system I, is programmed to frustrate you. I, is that frustration that I, I just feel so people have different thresholds to different things, right? Let me tell like, you. like I said, I snapped.
I just woke up one day and said, why do I have to deal with this? There has to be better somewhere else. I'm driving in traffic and somebody carrying a box is squeezing beside a G-Wagon to pass. I look the person or Okada. <laughs> The person shoot. He goes, say sorry, <laughs> sir. Mm -hmm. The last time they price my headlights, one person they tell me say that if it's they careful when they drive this motor, the headline are three point five million <laughs> for one. Okay. All right. <laughs> G wagon is slightly cheaper. G wagon is about two point five million for mm -hmm. one. I think <clears throat> the one sell for this guy. If he break that headlight, if they go there with him the box, they go there, they go there. Go double it for so you. He go double it. They're very good. They will double it. <laughs> with that head for the next car, I would just tap him out of vex. So I just always pray to God, say, make a no evil. Because I could just, I, as I look at this complete fool, mm. you are dragging road with G Wagon to mm. make light and they hold you. Nice. I'm sorry. That, Bike you go sell will be two point five million. I be you go do yeah, you go sell your kidney, your liver <laughs> to... <laughs> abroad. People still respect Nigeria. I just look there. Oh, 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 oh. If I look the guy sleep pass, mm -hmm. I... you see sometimes in life when you you realize what you are carrying, you you, you now calm down. Say okay, let me not go and get it's into a... trouble. Anybody can trouble get trouble at any time, mm -hmm. but yourself at risk of death and you think you can run away you cast mm -hmm. was going with his escorts if they want that tip i say watch out watch out watch mm. out and so go lad he's about just breaking moto eh? police just come down come begin they beat the tipper a bitter throw inside bush carry and go <laughs> do you well, know that that one i'm not gonna fix the motor now no need to fix them no, no, no need you can't fix it <laughs> can't fix it so maybe they just come out two of your teeth <laughs> <laughs> so that you go feel understand so those are the kind of things those are the kind of yeah, things you fear not get abroad mm -hmm. now yeah. you ask your motor abroad insurance go cover them the mm -hmm. right parts you have not a one mechanic we go tell you saying go do and go tell you saying go do and then you go call spoiler more then you again, then have. again, you have to be. Then again, you have to be careful with your insurance because if you are someone who gets into collisions, you know, very frequently, your your premium go they go up, they go up. Go up. Mm. Now, that so you also want to be careful. <laughs> the insurance. So into no go want making premium go up. Nigeria, Okada go jam. If you look the thing way in spoil, pass. You go not come down crossroad, run, leave you with your Okada. Waiting one you Okada. <laughs> Um, Nigerian frustration is real. It it's is. Real. It is. And I just decided not to deal with I, it anymore. But uh -uh. because we are immune to it by virtue of what we do, it is easier for us to navigate the stormy waters of Nigeria. I can't live abroad because that thing where they pursue me, I still never see them. And I quit. <laughs> It. because sometimes when you just look at it you know what i don't want I, let me just go and be an average citizen abroad <laughs> so freeze so freeze you were quite immune to the everyday struggle of someone um who has the typical nigerian experience and i get that because in fact if you enter that there if you see the security so if we enter where they freeze day from that gate if i get iron gate for that you know they enter cool fm anyhow <laughs> <laughs> the person from inside must say yes now what? my person go sign something for you so you were almost living like those mm. people who were you almost had the experience of an expatriate if i could use Let's, that word in 2016 before the um, financial downturn. Mm -hmm. I was earning 366,000 naira and dollar was 170 naira. So I was mm -hmm. earning 1,000 plus dollars a month as basic salary. Now, salary, if you ever worked on radio, you, do, you don't touch salary. Salary is nothing. By the side. You, we do your MC, we do your voiceovers, we do. So, it was easily $10,000 a month. Easily. Mm. 
Mm. So if you sat down then and thought about it, it was if you're earning ten thousand dollars a month, you are doing hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year. Comfort. That's Comfort. six figures. Mm. Straight up. How many people in America today earn hundred and twenty thousand dollars a month? That is how old the yeah, freeze. Where you want to pick it? Where you want to say it is your father? All Who those is your father. Oh, this was... year. Probably on three hundred thousand a year. Three hundred and fifty. Mm -hmm. What they were making. Because they were doing one one million naira <clears throat> show, five mm. in a month. Wow. And one million naira was about seven thousand okay, dollars. So, so Somebody is saying that the white ladies get the job. Of course, of a far away white lady. The country. So what do you expect? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, you have to know what works for you. Now, sometimes mm -hmm. you might just be used to the Nigerian madness and you know how to navigate it. That might be your superpower. Mm -hmm. You go abroad, you now feel like a chicken in a pond. Mm -hmm. It's not you understand. Mm -hmm. So understand yourself. Someone like Cynthia was, the banking system is terrible. It's, you, are, you are even lucky you left. If you wait at night, to even be worse because mm -hmm. there's and all that. So know yourself. Don't follow anybody. So, yeah. I had, I had a friend at the time who told me that uh, relocating abroad was for younger people. Why will you be relocating in your 30s? It's not for someone as old as... Ah, ah. And then she used her cousin in South Africa and how that one's relocation story, you know, failed. Sorry. I'm trying to discourage me, but I knew what I wanted to do. I had my Everyone plan. Has Everybody has, yeah. Has yeah. So basically, for you not to suffer, you have to... You have to come here with plan A, plan B, plan, plan C, C because plan, plan A may not work. Plan A it. may not work. Mm -hmm. Plan B may not work. It may be plan C that will, that work. will work. Because I was feeling like, okay, I'm educated. And then, you see, when I came in 2016, there were, um, at the time, um, Nigerian universities here in the United States that were recognized, mm -hmm. right, that you can use your Nigerian degree to work the at the time, was oh. only Unilag and Ife. And I happened to be an alumnus so i didn't have the struggle that a lot of people who went to like osu and other schools had so mm -hmm. I, but then i couldn't even get a job even in my sector mm. and so and then in 2020 i did a pivot anyway i went into technology um, so i'm running late plan a plan b plan c uh so i can pick up i have so much to do tomorrow it's lovely having this conversation with the two of you guys and uh, we're going to continue with this what has your relocation story been we're going to continue even during the day so many people bought my money guns today wow when i like gisto big shout out to all of you ambassador um lizzie clark two bird and you simberry <clears throat> double click the screen if you're watching on tiktok follow my number one gifter i appreciate you all god bless you thank you all right. so much. a couple more money guns before i leave uh bye bye everybody god bless nice bye mm -hmm.